Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's a video I was not planning on filming at all. Um, and it's only really happened in the last like six hours today. So I have bought myself a brand new MacBook. So if you guys want to hear the crazy story of everything that's just happened today, make sure to stick around. If you want to see my unboxing, make sure to stick around. And if you want to see a little bit of a setup and how I've been getting on with this laptop, make sure to stick around. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. And let's get straight on with today's video. So I'm just going to kind of give you guys a bit of an intel of what's actually happened before I do the whole unboxing. So if you guys aren't interested in this, just skip past all this bit. I haven't really had any issues with my old my MacBook. So I had a MacBook Air in rose gold. I think it's actually called gold, but it looks rose gold. Anyway, I've had it for a little while now and... I went to use it this morning and the screen had completely glitched out but it was to the point of if I like flipped my screen or if I like moved or adjusted the screen it was like glitching and like kind of coming up I'll show you guys a photo on the screen now because I actually took a video and a photo of it just if I'm gonna like show my insurance people but anyway it was glitching when I like bent the screen and like moved the screen and then I tried to use it a little bit later on and then when I was trying to use it like the right hand side of the screen had like completely gone black and then if I moved it it just turned a different colour like it went green and then really like stripey and liney and that kind of thing so I was like okay this needs fixing so I insured my laptop back in November 2019 and I went to look up my insurance policy today and it turns out I thought I'd just done it like a lifetime insurance so every year it renews and that kind of thing turns out I haven't and I did it as a one year insurance and I can't find the policy anywhere so what I've had to do, we took quite a couple of, we took a few hours to try to discuss this and to decide what I was actually going to do about it. But in the end, we did decide to just buy a new MacBook because my mum's wanted a MacBook for a while, so I'm giving her my old one. Um, I've got bought myself a brand new one, and it's things like my editing and my uploading and my exporting. The MacBook Air just wasn't kind of the right spec for it, and I've had it a year now. And I've now, like this time last year, I wasn't taking my filming on my YouTube as seriously as I am now. I'm trying to take it a lot more seriously, trying to upgrade all my equipment and that kind of thing. So it was kind of just this, it just kind of got to the point where I was like, do you know what? I feel like it's the right time to do it. It is only a year, like I said, it's only been a year, which isn't that long. And I do not recommend, you know, disposing of products like this and going through products like this and getting new ones like every year. I haven't got a new one because the new ones come out. I did not take this decision lightly. I am not the kind of person that has like two grand to spare to go spend on another computer and has bricks. I've been saving it for a long time so this is where the money's come from. I have savings and I work so so much and so so hard. So I'm not bragging about it, I haven't been handed it, you know my parents haven't just given me a brand new computer because mine's not working. I've gone out and I've spent the money to buy myself a new one and it's things like um, the battery life on this one is like eight hours longer than my battery life was on my old one so I can like sit and edit on trains when COVID is gone. I can sit and like edit on a train or I can take it to my friend's house or I don't have to have it plugged in every second of the day, you know, worrying about it running out of charge or whatever. So I just kind of weighed up all the pros and cons. I looked at all the different aspects of it. I like the touch bar as well. I'm quite excited to be using that. So I've looked at all the different aspects, especially like the fan that's got the fact that it's got a fan inside. I really needed a computer with a fan in because mine just overheated way too much because of how much I was doing with it. It gets so so hot. And this one does have a fan in it, so I feel like I've definitely made the right choice with what I'm doing. It was just a difficult one and a very, very expensive one. So I'm going to like unbox it for you guys now and show you what actually comes inside. So I'm not going to lie, I'm rather excited. Um, just because it's a different computer, it's going to be different. And last time I got my MacBook, I didn't set it up properly because I didn't have that much storage. I had 120 gig on it. So I didn't want to like set up iTunes, iCloud, all that kind of thing because it takes up so much storage all the time. So I didn't want to bother. So everything's just been such a mess on my laptop since then. So now I'm actually wanting to set everything up nice, set everything up properly and it's going to be really good. So this is the box that it came in because I'm sure you all want me to just like get on with this video now. So this is the box that it came in and it is actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be because I had an Air before and now I've got a Pro. And this is the new 2020 Pro as well which is always an advantage, but I think it just looks so nice. So I'm now gonna just unbox this because I'm just so excited to want to actually see what's inside now. And this is such a high box to open. I feel like all the Apple ones are always so, so difficult to actually like open. But this is what it looks like. 
and it feels so nice. It's got that really soft and really like smooth feel on it too, which is so cool. So it's got a little flap here to open it up with. And this is the part that I'm also scared about is like opening it up and like just dropping it straight away, like smashing it on the floor. So I'm just going to get rid of this and just put it on the computer for now. So this, let's let it focus. So this is the computer and it looks so shiny and so, so new and it's gorgeous. And then where this flap is, you can actually pull this back. And this removes the protective packaging off it. So I'm going to remove that and then I'm just going to take the packaging away and just hook up the computer. And it, honestly guys, it looks unreal. It looks so, so gorgeous. So it's got a really like, quite a dark, um, it's space grey is the colour that I got. So it does have a really dark look to it, but I really like it because it's something different. Oh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but that's what happened when I opened it up for the first time. So it's got this little protective cover in there, which I'm just going to remove. And it feels so nice, like all the new buttons and everything like that. The only part that I was confused about is that they have um, this button here. I'm just going to zoom in for you guys. But you can see here that these two buttons here on my MacBook Air, these two buttons here basically meant to brighten and darken the key, the keys because they had like a backlight on them. Okay, so now it's speaking in Netherlandish or however, however you say that. But yeah, basically these buttons here actually like brighten and darken the keys on the MacBook Air. But on here, these don't have a backlight that I'm aware of. The keys don't have one. Um, unless it's something that you can change in the actual settings of the computer, I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure you must be able to change it in the settings, otherwise I don't know why you actually have those buttons. So I'm going to do the setup in a minute and talk you guys through that. But first I want to just look at what else we've got in the box. So this is the rest of the box of what is inside. And this doesn't actually come with that much if I'm honest. So it comes with this cable here which actually looks really long and it does look really really good and with it being a genuine Apple cable it's a lot less likely to actually wreck your MacBook when you charge with it because I know there's so many fake ones out there that can really really damage your products. So this does look pretty good and I had a problem with one of my MacBook wires so it's always good to have an extra one. And then under here it's got a little tab that you can like pull out. So this is I'm guessing the instruction manual. Yes, this kind of tells you like all the different bits you can do with like what all the different buttons are and things like that. So it tells you about all your different camera, spotlight search, control centre, all things like that. I feel like this I won't really need because I've had my MacBook Air, so I know how MacBook generally, like the software, how it generally just works. But it's always handy to have. And then it's got like review of the essentials guide. And I think it's got some health and safety bits too. So it's got a few like instructions and like leaflets in there. And then this comes with two MacBook stickers. I still have my rose gold ones from my old MacBook. And then it does come with something else. Oh no, it don't. That's just a piece of card. Okay, cool. So that's all that comes with. Uh, I'm just going to stick these back in here. I've never actually used those stickers before. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be used for. But they're still pretty cool. So this is what... This is like the rest of what you get in the box. So this is the plug and kind of adapter which is rather strange I won't lie because the plug that I've got is like very very similar to this one so I'll take the covering off it so this is what the plug looks like and it looks very very similar to mine it's just shinier and a lot less scratched and a lot more new but this one here is like so so strange because it's like so much bigger than the other one that I used to have and it also has the Apple logo on, which I do think is quite cool, but this is what it looks like. It just slots into there, so they adapt together and they fit really nicely together. It is so big and heavy to be carrying around, though I won't lie, it's really, really heavy. But they're really good quality and I've not had an issue with my old one yet. So with this one being either even bigger and firmer and a bit stronger, maybe it would last even longer as well. So this is what the charger looks like. And I'm going to put the box on. I'm just going to do a bit of a general setup with you guys first. So while I was at, I bought a couple of extra bits as well just to go with my new computer. So I bought this here which is a 
like a spare cable and it was on sale and it was supposed to be 19 pounds it was reduced to 15 which i did think was really really good it's a not a long cable i will admit it's really not long it's only a meter is this one i think my other one is definitely like at least three meters um so yeah it's not the longest one in the world but it's also it's definitely gonna work uh, i feel like i always need like an extra laptop charger because i feel like I never have one or mine's gonna like break and I was get really really scared if it breaks what I'm gonna do because I only have one so it's really good to get an extra and like a spare one that I can have and then the other thing I got was this power adapter here so the next thing I got was this power adapter so this is USB-C to USB-C or just like a USB output really so I'll just kind of open this up and show to you guys but I definitely wanted a new one of these because especially with me getting another wire I need another adapter or I hope we just won't be able to use it so this actually comes with like a leaflet book, which is rather strange. Um, so this is what it looks like. I think this is really good because it's a lot more compact than the other one. Because the other one is just honestly massive. So if you see the two compared, this is how big the one that I got was. And this is how big the one that I just bought extra was. Like, it's such a big difference. This one's like such a more of a travel size and easier to carry around and that kind of thing. And you also have to, I'm not sure how you do it yet, but you also have to get the plug bits out because they fall away. I'm guessing that's just like, oh yeah that's pretty cool so all you do is literally just kind of like push it a little bit and they all automatically come out which is so cool and they go straight back in so it's quite a good um what is that motion like it's quite good the way it does it so it's less likely to break and it feels quite strong and sturdy but i love that i really really like that i'm not even sure how much this one was i think it was like 19 pounds i think but at apple they are like 80 pounds each so it is a really really good deal and then the final thing that I bought, because I actually went to John Lewis to buy all this because the insurance and the guarantees were a lot better value from John Lewis. And the actual laptop was actually cheaper as well from John Lewis than it was to buy from Apple. But the last item that I bought was this Low Pro case. And this is actually, it's a camera case, but I'm going to use it to store my camera equipment. So I've got an adapter wire for my microphone. I've got an adapter wire for my phone. I've got a thing that goes on the side, like a little bar that goes on the side, and I can plug those different things into that, and I, these could all fit into here. I can carry this around with me, they're not going to get damaged, I can put like, my, all my SD cards, all my memory sticks, all that kind of thing can all fit in here, I know they're safe, I know where they all are, they're not going to get damaged, they're going to stay nice and organised and it's just a really good quality and a really cute bag as well so i want to just do the initial setup on camera because i never did this with my original one it's really strange as well because it looks rose gold under the camera light because of my desk lights but it is actually the space gray one but i'm just going to go through and actually do this with you guys now so firstly you've got to select the language so i'm selecting the second english one so that's the english so that's the english uk one use british english as the main language press the return key so that's what we're going to choose and then it wants you to select your country or region so i'm so i'm going to click the united kingdom because that's where i live that's there and then it asks about accessibility features or what so i don't need any of these accessibility features on so i'm just clicking not now and then i'm going to set it up to my wi-fi so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll be back with you guys so it's now asking about migration assistant and it says if you have information on another Mac or Windows PC you can transfer it to this Mac. You can also transfer information from a time machine, backup or another startup disk. I do have mine but I don't want to transfer anything over so I want to like create everything brand new. So it says sign in with your Apple ID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try sign in and we'll have to see if I can remember my old passwords and stuff. So after you've gone through setting up an Apple ID, they need to create your computer account. So what I'm going to do is put my name into this, but for my other one I'll probably just put that. And then I'm putting my password in and I'm verifying it. And then if you want to put a hint you can do, but you don't have to. So I'm just going to put that for my hint. I'm going to retype my password in. There's not a lot else left actually to the setup, it's more kind of like the iCloud keychain stuff. The find my iPhone, find my Mac, all those kind of like extra bits that you decide whether you want the kind of personalised parts of it. And a lot of that you kind of can go back and just do in your settings later on. So guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. I've gone through the unboxing, I've said what actually happened to mine, why I've got a new one. I've done the setup of the iMac, I've done the setup of the MacBook. And I've done what else I got in the kind of haul. It's not really a haul, but whatever I bought today. So that is pretty much it for me for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it's a little bit of a different one, but I enjoy things like this. I like sharing with you guys what I've bought. I find videos like this so 
so helpful because I think it's really great so you can actually see what comes in boxes, what it looks like, how easy it is to set up, things like that. If someone else wants to buy one, they can watch a video like this and decide if it's for them, if it's not for them. I love things like that. But yeah, guys, that is it for me for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time. Bye.